In today's video, we're opening two graded Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery boxes. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another graded Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box opening, as well as some fan mail that I have laying around. I kind of peeked in there and there seems like there's some pretty cool stuff. We will have a giveaway in this video, but I'm not sure what it is yet, because a lot of time these fan mails have giveaways included. So we're just gonna like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite thing we open in this video and you'll be entered into whatever the giveaway turns out to be. So first off, I have this package that I've had sitting here for a while and I kind of forgot it was here and I turned around and saw it, it was just laying there. I'm like, wait, I haven't opened that yet. There is a note with it, so let's read it. Ruxin, it's always a lot of fun watching your videos. I have been a subscriber since about 50K or so, and you never fail to come up with great content. I want to say congrats on 200K by sending you something you would appreciate more than anyone. Okay, what could this be, guys? Leave your guesses down below. You might have one or even 20 of these already, but I figured you'd like it. Once again, congrats, Al. His IG is I'm going Yankers or whatnot, A Y Yankly. So, Al. Thank you so much for what you sent. Now let's see what he actually sent. All right, I can already tell because it's in bubble wrap, so I'm gonna take it out of the bubble wrap to reveal for you guys, but this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever been sent. It is a graded card. Put your guesses down below. What do you think this graded card could be from Al? Uh, you probably have some guesses. If you listen to that note, you know, using context clues, you probably have a guess what this is. He was not right about me having 20, but I do have one of these. So this will be number two. This is a different one though, because my other one is signed by Rhyme Style. That should give it away if you guys are watchers of the channel. A Jim Mint 10 Petite Moth. I now have two Jim Mint 10 Petite Moths. I don't know what the population is. We're going to pop it up on the screen, but Ruxin himself has two of them. I'm super hyped about this. I can't have enough Petite Moths, so this is pretty cool. I'm actually submitting two more, so maybe we'll grade a couple more. That's so cool. A great start to this video. Al, thanks again. That's really awesome. Also, in one of the other packages, they gave me this cool thing, so I can, you know, just do this. So uh, that'll be nice for, uh, you know, future streams and stuff. Second, we have our first mystery box or graded mystery box of the day. This was sent to me by Jacob H. Jacob H gave me a note, but it's pretty long. So I'm going to try to summarize it. Basically, he has a mystery box of an Australian grading company that he says he really, really likes. He says he's not affiliated, but he just wanted to send some over and they can be part of the giveaway. So everything we open up in this mystery box, which should be three graded cards, will be in the giveaway. So let's get right into it. This is really cool looking. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty cool presentation. Looks like it's been through a little bit but it did ship all the way from australia so that's probably where all this came from you know a little bit of beat up stuff but i assume that's from that i don't know how you open these oh wait okay oh there oh there are packs in here too okay we have packs inside so this is gonna be fun i'm assuming that he throw these in here and they don't actually put packs on them in the graded return but maybe they do so we're gonna open these up all the polls will be in the giveaway as well so if you guys want to enter the giveaway don't forget to like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what you like out of these mystery boxes okay speed duel I haven't opened speed duel in quite a while so let's see what we can get Speed duel, can we get a foil? We have Waking the Dragon. We have Ancient Brain, Feel the Pain. We have Energy Drain, and we have a Patrician of Darkness. No guaranteed foils in Speed Duel, so that's kind of fun. But you know what you can get? Starlights out of Bad Battles of Legend, Crystal Event, not, not Badgers of Legend. That's a little different. Here we go, we have the Blackwing. This looks like Euro print, based on the back. So we have uh, Blackwing Bora. We have Hieratic Seal, Blackwing Gale. We have the Rainbow Bridge, and an Evil Twin, Lilla, Secret rare pretty nice card actually little i think might be decent dimension force coming up i've never pulled that ghost bell starlight rare now's the time and then i have to give it away that'd still be pretty fun though i'd be down for it i think it's four on this one because there's no rares in this we have a mega judgment we have devouring sarcophagus the land hydra we have musical sumo that's a scareclaw astra scareclaw balone war rock medium Heroic Challenger Knuckle Sword and oh, the Scareclaw Arrival. Okay, nothing too crazy out of that one. Trials of the Kingdom. This is back when they actually did like core speed duel sets. They don't really do those anymore. They just do those special boxes for them. We have Helping Robo for Combat. Waking the Dragon. We have the Black Wing Ritual and Energy Drain. Wow, the speed duel are not loving us right now. Amazing Defenders turned out to be a much better set. We called it Atrocious Defenders originally and it took, it took that personally because it got better. Pearly stuff got a little bit more popular, but then they kind of killed the Euro pack. Didn't need to do a pack trick. Okay. Uh, they kind of killed the value by uh, damaging that deck pretty beyond repair, essentially. So Duels from the Deep. This is a uh, not a speed duel pack, but it kind of feels like one. Duels from the Deep. Give us It could get a ghost rare. I would like that. Frostosaurus. This is an ulti back in the day. And Stalin, I think. Striking the US. Citadel Whale, we have Marincess Battle Ocean and Marincess Circulation. Alrighty. Nothing crazy yet. Last pack. Then we have a 
AFL team code. I don't know what that is. But we're going to open it up because when we do these mail videos, anything can happen. You know, it just depends on what people say. You know, you don't really know. Heavy freight train. We got magician's left hand. Why do we have his left hand? Don't know. Wonder wand. We have a witchcrafter. Potier. And an evil eye mesmerism. Evil eye worth anything? Not really sure. Okay. AFL team coach. So is this like, what is this? Rugby, I guess? Rugby? I, I don't even know how rugby works. I've tried to watch rugby before just to figure out how it works. And I'm just confused the whole time. It's like a mixture of soccer and football, but it's not really though. So I've never heard of these people. People. Dylan Grimes. I'm going to guess who's good just based on what I'm seeing. 2010. This man's ancient. He's been playing for 13 years. We have a uh, James Robotham. Charlie Kernow. 2016 debut. This guy's a young lad. Jasmine Fleming. We have Brody Grundy. 2013. All right. There we go. Connor Rosie. All I know what to look at is how, how long they've been in the league. Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh, I'm on the back. See, like, this shows how, what I'm not doing. I'm looking the wrong way. What are we doing? We're opening these backwards. See, I told you I don't know how rugby works. Really, sports cards in general, I don't know too well. But, oh, yeah, we get the action shots here. Where's the old guy? Oh, they got they have the female players in here, too. I was like, Jasmine, interesting name. No, it's a female. Okay, that makes sense. We have a uh, Brody Grundy. We have a, that's our hollow Connor Ro Rose. I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, oh, that's kind of nice looking. Jake Lever and the Connor, wait, same guy? Two of the same guy. Nice. Not bad. All right. So yeah, clearly I don't know how that works, but uh, rugby cards, first time ever opened, not just on the channel, but for me ever. All right. So this is interesting. This is clearly a Dragon Ball Super card. He said two of them are Yu-Gi-Oh! So I guess it's these. They have like sleeves. That's really cool for the presentation. Completely covers them up so you don't spoil anything. Here is, uh, what were they called? Arc grading. Okay. We've never seen arc grading before on the channel. So let's see what this is. Dragon Ball Super. Let's go. Ooh, a 6.5 rip. Sun go on, power reclaimed. That's a pretty cool looking card. Dragon Ball Super has some really beautiful cards. We used to open them back in the day on the channel. We would get like three views, literally like three views. Nobody would watch it, but it was a lot of fun to open those up. So this will be part of the giveaway. Very cool card. Now we see what the Yu-Gi-Oh is. I mean, it's going to be hard to, to live up to this, the Pequeno Moth, but it's going to do its best. Let's see what Ark has in store. I don't know which way is gonna be a spoiler that looks like a spoiler let's do this okay let's see uh where does it show it's got it's got subgrades wait this got a six surface that's why i did so bad let's see what this one is art grading this looks like an ocg card which could be promising there's a lot of really cool ocg cards what is it is it one of those really awesome old school ones it seems a little bit like more like a new card i see some damage on the back this is not going to be a high grade Oh, an Injection Fairy Lily. Is that a gold rare? We've got a gold OCG Injection Fairy Lily. Got a six. I could tell from the surface it was pretty rough. Corners got a six. I just got a 5.5. Hey, look at that centering. 9.5, baby. Holding it up. 9.5 centering. All right. Very cool. Injection Fairy Lily. A fan favorite for sure. All right. One more. I think we had to turn it around last time, right? Final card out of art grading. And then we have another mystery box to open up. So this is kind of a longer video, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, I see some surface stuff going on in the back. Let's see... Oh, the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Let's go. The Jump Ultra Rare. That's very, very cool. Beautiful, beautiful Ultra. That looks nice. That's a fire card. And it's a 9.5. That's a 9.5 quad right there. I don't know what you call it. That's what they call it in BGS. So I'm just going to go with that. But that's a beautiful card. So if you guys want to win some of those from our grading, they will be in the giveaway. Thanks again, Jacob, for sending us those. That was fun. All right. And our final box here is the Yugi Crate. We have opened a Yu-Gi-Oh! Crate before. Yugi Crate before on the channel this one's from uk blue eyes on instagram he also has an ebay so go check him out these are available for him so he sent him sent me one for free which is pretty cool so i'm really excited to open this up and see what's inside i remember last time it being pretty solid before we actually open it up we will pop up the cost of this on the screen or what they're selling for on his ebay and then uh, you guys can make a judgment for yourself if you want to buy some so you can go check them out if you do hey roxon thanks again for featuring my mystery loot crate with the website up and running uk blue eyes tcg.com so i guess he has his own website now i made a box a monthly subscription service as well as being able to buy them as a one-off box just a few little bits about the box each box costs oh here it is here's the cost as little as 24.99 uh, is that euro right or is that pounds i don't know i get them confused every time with over 28 about 36 of Yu-Gi-Oh products you make a little bit based on what he's saying here these products cover a wide range of items some old items and rare all the way up to the latest booster packs boxes can be found on my website from uk or usa or ireland if you're outside those regions message me on instagram we also have mystery psa slabs on the site very cool 
And then thanks again for getting back to me. Hope you enjoy and congrats on 200K. Thank you very much, Dylan. Let's open this up and see what he got. He said we're gonna have about 36 euro or pound. I'm really bad. I'm really bad with get, differentiating those two. Uh, they look kind of similar. All right, so here are some stickers. Cool. Let me pull out what we got here. Okay, first off, we have something shaped like some sort of toy or something. I feel like last time we got a little character or something. Wait, oh, that's a little a little circle. What is that? Oh, a die. Okay, that makes sense. They've been doing a lot of die recently. So which one did we get? We got the, oh, what is this called? The uh, Dark Magical Circle. There we go. I almost forgot the name. Dark Magical Circle for Dark Magician, I believe. That's beautiful. I'm sure there's some of those, like Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician Die, you could get potentially in there as well. Oh, man. Dropped it. What is it? It is the, oh, the Sword Stalker, a classic. Very bad monster, but he's in the anime, so he's cool. Okay, then we have this. Let's see what else this is. This is shaped a little weird, so it's got to be something that is not cardboard. Uh, we have, oh, my gosh, an Exodia. Oh, this is so cool look at this he has a little key you know put this on your keychain but carry, carry this around like all right time to go to walmart baby this is awesome though i really like this that is super sick exodia the forbidden one that is amazing i love that all right i'm a big fan of that. that's pretty cool okay i think we can see what this is that might be some sleeves right there uh it peeks through the the packaging a little bit let's see we've got ourselves some magic karibo sleeves i mean how do you top the magic karibo that is amazing the magic karibo sleeves karibo collection card sleeve spell with a k very nice all right then we are down to i think the singles and the packs so let's see what we get here this is a pack inside what is it is that a maximum gold el dorado it is first edition i think they have unlimited yet for this okay this is pretty fun i like this i remember this there i remember like not these feel weird these Euro? He's got to be Euro. Okay, yeah, I remember these, and I was like, are we not going to get any packs? And then we did at the end. So, yeah, there are, like, a four or five packs in here, I think. Do you see Devo? We have a Ghost Warner. They put them both at the end in Euro, I guess. And then a Numeron Storm. So, Ghost Warner is pretty cool. That's not bad. A couple more. This looks like Maze, if I had to guess. Yeah, Maze of Memories. It's kind of interesting opening these out of this, like... It's like you're opening up a birthday present or something. But I guess you get it monthly, monthly subscription. Your, your monthly birthday present, <laughs> I guess. All right, Maze, this is Euro, so I'm just going to do no pack trip because that seems to be the way to do it. We have Labyrinth Wall. Give us a collector rare. We have Cost Down, Gay Guardian, and... Ooh, Mech Knight Crusader Avermax. Good card, but probably not too valuable these days. Okay, next pack. We're going to save our mystery uh, cards for the end just because you never know what would be inside there. What will be inside here? Uh, we've got a Battles of Legend, a Crystal Revenge. All right, let's get ourselves a Starlight Rare. Let's do it. Can we get Exodia the Forbidden One? That'd be pretty cool. Access Code Talker. We have a Blackwing. We have a Crystal Beast. Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. We have a Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. And a Doodle Beast Tyranno. Secret Rare. Very cool. One more pack. So far, pretty okay pulls. But that's not really what you based it off of Mystery Box. It's about the value of the sealed pack. Because obviously when you open a pack, most of the time you lose your value. Clash of Rebellion. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. If these are consistently in those, or at least somewhat, this is a pretty nice pack. But you never really know because I am, you know, promoting the pack. So... It's better to make it look good, of course. So, you know, you never really know. Class for Rebellion. We have a Performer Pal Camel Lump. Very cool. Mystery Shell Dragon. Perform Age Damage Juggler. Raid Raptor Singing Lanius. We have Perform Age Trapeze Magician. And... Oh, it looks like we got nothing out of there. Still a really cool chicken game. I think that's a dollar. Still a really cool pack to open up. Red Eyes Flare Metal Ghost Rare would have been insane. Damage Juggler is also pretty good. All right, we have a couple more things here. I don't know what this is. The cool thing about these is you get some pretty unique items, like that Exodia. Then you get a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX sticker. Wow, that is that is old school. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. 2008, printed in Italy. Wow, we are talking old school on this. So, uh, 15 years old. And the final card of the opening today. All right, this, is, this has been pretty epic. It's been a very fun opening. What do we get? It looks like it's a promo. It's sealed. What is it? Ooh, a Gemini Elf Lost Art. Wow, that's a nice card. Okay, that was a fun mystery box. We're gonna be throwing all the cards and stuff like that into the giveaway. Exodia, sorry, I'm keeping this. This is just too cool. This will be perfect for the background. And of course, the Petite Moth, that was a different thing. But all these other things will be thrown into the giveaway. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and enter that giveaway. Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Miss Cycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertie Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.